What most small businesses want from their business management systems is simplicity. Simplicity drives a lower total cost of ownership. It means that it's easier for your people to actually utilize the software and they'll want to use the software. With SAP Business One, simplicity and ease of use is one of the key things that we've focused on. So what I'd like to do in this demonstration is take you through the user interface of SAP Business One. The first thing you'll notice when you log on to SAP Business One is how clean and crisp the user interface is. We've made it as easy as possible for people to work with the software. You'll see all I need to do is put in my user ID and my password. Now SAP Business One also gives you the capability to do multi-company. So if I want to, I can choose any one of my companies that I wish to work with just by clicking on the change company function and I'll get to see all of the companies that I've been granted access to. In this case, I'm going to log on as the manager and I'll put in my password and the system will take me straight in to the main user interface. And as soon as I log in, you'll see that I'm presented with a couple of key areas. So the first of these is the main menu. So across here on the left hand side you'll see I actually have a couple of choices. I can go into an area called Drag and Relate, I can go into my main modules or I can go into an area called my cockpit. Let's talk about those in a little bit more detail. When I click on one of these options, you'll see that it expands the menu out. So in this case, I'm looking at my modules. So from here, I can choose any one of the different functional areas of SAP Business One that I have access to. For example, if I click on Business Partners, I'm able to choose the Business Partner Master Data. So this is one of the classic screens that you will be working with inside SAP Business One. Now, in order to make the most of the screen real estate, at any point in time, you can simply click on the menu bar and have that remove the menu bar as well. I'm able to expand out any one of the screens, particularly helpful if I'm working in order entry. Also, a couple of things that we've done right throughout the entire system to make it consistent is anywhere inside the system, if I want to, I can access this toolbar up the top. The toolbar gives me functions that allow me to move through the different records to change from being in add mode where I'm adding a new record to going into find mode where I'm searching for a record. So for example, I'm able to quickly scroll through each of the records inside the system just by using my video buttons here. So here's one of the records I'm looking at and this is Earthshake Corporation. So quickly and easily I can see everything about this particular customer. I can see what their account balance is. I can see the value of deliveries that we have pending for them. I can also see the value of orders and of course with SAP Business One, customer relationship management is built in right throughout the entire system so I'm able to see what sales opportunities my sales team is working on. I can quickly drill down and look at all of the standard information about my customer including identifying who is the main sales employee that's looking after this particular customer. But I can maintain multiple contacts for every single one of my customers. I can maintain multiple addresses and of course I'm also able to customize different aspects of the accounting relationship with this particular customer. My payment terms, any discounts and also any collections uh, process that I want to apply I'm able to track here and I can set that differently for each one of my different customers. Now, the great thing about SAP Business One, you'll notice we're calling this a business partner. So, customers are business partners, your suppliers or your creditors are also business partners, and any prospects or leads that you're working with are also business partners. What does that mean? No matter which of these three types of custom or these three types of business partners you're working with, you are always using the same screen. What does that mean? You learn one screen and you're then able to very, very quickly and easily work with each of those different business partner types. A couple of other things that I just point out to you on this particular screen. You can quickly and easily drill down to that customer relationship management information from this screen. You'll see I have the ability to look at my related service calls. 
I can look at related activities or I can even go ahead and create a new activity. So if I click on activity you can see it immediately pops up my activity function. I can choose what activity type, was it a phone call, a meeting, a task and all of these are completely customizable by you to match your specific business process. We deliver a best practice set of customizations or configurations if you like straight out of the box with SAP Business One but you can then modify that to fit your own business processes. So I'm able to create those activities, I can schedule follow-ups and as you'll see in one of our further demonstrations, I'm able to synchronize all that information with Microsoft Outlook. So if you're working with Outlook as your main productivity tool, you'll be happy to see how deep and rich that integration is. I'm also able to go ahead and see any related service calls. Now one of the things you've probably noticed on the screens are these little golden arrows. Well what are they? Those golden arrows allow you to drill down to the underlying information. So you can see here I have a pending service call for this particular business partner. With one click I'm able to drill down and I can view all the details about that service call. Because of course with SAP Business One we have that service functionality built in uh, to the core application. If I click on OK there and then I come back up, again I'm able to use the golden arrow and drill down to look at my account balance. Or you'll see I have these little graph symbols next to each one of these financial metrics. What does that allow me to do? Well that allows me to go ahead and start doing uh, analytics. So with one click I'm able to drill in and start looking at my sales analysis. So I get detailed sales analysis with all of that information being graphed out for me and of course that can all be customized to suit your particular requirements. And anytime I want to print that information out very very simply all I need to do is click up here on my print logo. If I want to email the information I click on my email function or if I want to print preview that information I can do that as well. So that's a little bit of a quick preview of the functionality that's exposed out when you click on modules and also a little bit of a look at the user interface. The next thing that you might be interested in is what we call drag and relate. How does drag and relate work? Drag and Relate gives you all of the specific transactions sitting inside your system. So for example if I expand out sales by clicking on that and I want to look at every sales quotation that's in the system, all I need to do is double click on that sales quotation and you'll see here are all of the sales quotations inside my system, whether they're closed, open or whatever the case may be. Now, that's fantastic and I can go ahead and drill down from any one of these and look at the underlying information. For example, let's say this sales quotation for SG Electronics. With one click I can drill down and here's the sales quotation field. And of course I can uh, print out a copy of that sales quote, I can email it, whatever the case may be. But let's say I wanted to do some filtering. I only want to see those sales quotations that are open. All I do is I click on my filter button and I say show me those sales quotations where the status is equal to open. And now you can see what I'm getting is just the sales quotations with the status of open. Now let's say I wanted to drill down even further. I'm going to go back and I'm going to open up my business partner master screen again. So let's go back to our modules and I'll choose my business partner master and I'm going to navigate across once more to Earthshaker Technologies. Now once I've got Earthshaker open here what can I do? I can click on drag and relate and you can see my sales uh, is still expanded out so all I need to do is click on the business partner master code, drag that across and drop it on the top of sales quotations and now I get to see all of the sales quotations just for Earthshaker. I can filter that as we saw before I'm going to say show me those sales quotations where the status is equal to O for open. I'll apply that filter I've now got three of them. So I'm on the phone now to Earthshaker I can drill down on any one of those quotations I can have a discussion with Earthshaker and then 
as they're asking me questions, I'm able to quickly and easily jump to the underlying information. So if they start, for example, asking me information um, about my items. Let's say, for example, I want to drill down and look at the underlying information. Let's say they say, look, on this particular quotation, we are looking at this particular product, a HP Color Laser Jet 5. And they ask me, well, how many service calls do you get on this particular product? Quickly and easily, I can expand out service in my drag and relate. And then I just drag and drop that product code across the top of service call. And you can see there are no matching records found. That's telling me that I've not had a service call against this particular product. So I can quickly and easily get a snapshot of that information. And if I want to double check, once again, all I have to do is double click and I can see all of the service calls that are in the system and I can drill down and look at any one of those service calls. So while I'm on the phone to Earthshaker, I can see that I might have a service call here. So I'm able to quickly drill down to that underlying information and have a discussion with my customer about that as well. So what does that mean? That basically means that it's very, very quick and easy to get access to all the information inside the system that you need when you need it. The final thing I'd like to show you in this short demonstration is the lookup functionality or the search capability that's built into SAP Business One. So I'm going to minimize my screen down. So what I'm able to do is by going up here onto my search bar, I can just start typing anything. Let's say I'm typing in a business partner name, a product code, a product description. And what SAP Business One will do is will automatically start to try and find that information for me. So let's say I'm looking for Earthshaker. So I can put in Earthshaker and I can hit enter and it brings up that specific information for me straight away. Let's say I'm looking for an info print. So I type in the word info print and I hit enter and you can see I've actually got three um, objects inside my database that have the word info print in them. So I can quickly and easily click on the golden arrow and drill down to that underlying information. If I know it's a particular document, I can start typing that in. And you'll also see what this is doing is also giving me the ability to quickly jump to related information inside the help file. But I'll put in a one. And you can now see every record that actually has the number one somewhere inside that. So very, very powerful functionality. I can see here are the items I've got business partners, 23 items that have the number one somewhere in the information. I've got 15 business partners and a thousand marketing documents. So if you are on the phone and you're talking to a customer and they're talking to you about a specific document number, all you need to do is go up here and you can type in that document number, press enter, find the document, drill down to it and have that discussion with the customer. That makes the entire system very, very easy to use, very quick, and gives you access to the information you need as and when you need it. And that's really what people are asking for today. Give me access to the information in a quick and easy fashion so that when I am trying to look after a customer, when I'm trying to manage my business, I can get that information straight away. So hopefully that's given you a good understanding of how the user interface works and some of those features that are right throughout the entire system that you can take advantage of. In our next session, we'll take a detailed look at what's sitting behind the cockpit area of SAP Business One.